Hi, I'm Holly Silva and I've been a crafts expert for 15 years now. Today I'm going to show you how to make woolly mammoth crafts. Here I have a piece of brown construction paper and I just drew some squiggly lines because woolly mammoths are woolly. And how do we depict that on a characterization? Then with uh, some squiggly lines. We like squiggly lines. So what we're going to do is cut around the squiggly lines just roughly. They don't have to be exact. Just use your drawings as a guideline. It's kind of like a sunshine with all the fancy, fancy spits of rays is what I like to call them. But the woolly mammoth is woolly. All right, so here we have this guy. Now here was my very, very, very pitiful attempt to draw eyes. And I know a lot of people have problems drawing eyeballs. That has never been my strong suit. So what I do is keep a pack of googly eyes around, just in case. What I'm going to do here is dab on some Elmer's glue. And now that my Elmer's glue is working wonderfully, I had some problems with that uh, in the past about it being clogged up and now we're going to stick that there and it's okay if you've got more glue than you need because Elmer's glue dries clear and it adds a little bit of expression too uh, because it adds some depth. Now what we're going to do is make sure that they're nice and pretty even. Let's see. Hey that looks fun, huh? Okay, so here I have some white foam paper and I'm going to cut out some Wooly mammoth tusks. Because what is a wooly mammoth without his tusks, huh? He ain't nothing. He's just a, I don't know, pachyderm, maybe? I think he's a pachyderm. I'm not sure. I know elephants are pachyderms. So it's going to look like that, kind of. As much as you can. Make it look like that. And cut another tusk because they've got two. And make sure they're about the same length. One is a little bit longer than the other. It's okay, I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I like them to be even. It doesn't have to be though. This is your project, do as you wish. All right, now we're gonna stick that there. And then we're gonna, oh, let's cut this trim just a little tad. There we go. And put that there and that there and then we can use we can use our Elmer's glue or our double stick tape. I like double stick tape. And put that there. and put that there. And now, it wouldn't be a craft if it just sat on the table. I mean, it could be, but that would be a boring craft. We've got more imagination than that. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of craft wire and put the craft wire, maybe, maybe do about three, four inches. Now we're going to add the craft wire through just about where the nose is. Pop a little hole through there, like so, okay, see that? All right, it's gonna be kind of like the bridge of his nose. It's gonna be a little interactive. It's gonna have like a bull nose. And then pop it through again. All right, now pull it through without tearing. Okay, see that? Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna make a ring out of it. Now, with this, you wanna make sure that you, uh, of course, have an adult do this part, but you wanna wrap it around, wrap the wire around itself. All right. Now, the pointy edges, what we're going to do is we are going to take some 
wire cleaners and wrap the wire cleaner around the wire. Now you can use wire cleaner, you can use yarn, you can use string, you can use anything you want, whatever you can to make sure that the to make sure that the wire doesn't poke anybody because you don't want pokey rings. That's no fun. All right, that works. Cut it close to the edge. There you go. And voila. Now, what do you think we're missing? No, uh, uh, we're not missing a trunk because now that you've put the woolly mammoth on your finger as a ring, whatever finger is coming out underneath the ring is the trunk. See? We're smart, aren't we? See you next time.